The wonderful thing about social media and sharing music is it can turn you onto things that you might never have encountered. Freaking excited! I stumbled upon High Rent earlier this year. I shared it with my mate. He became absolutely obsessed by him and said to me, have you heard this track he's done with Chinchilla called Chalk Outlines? I heard it, was absolutely blown away, then started searching and discovering her own solo material. So today we're going to listen to Little Girl Gone by Chinchilla. I love the B-movie title sequence. So I heard you're back in town And haven't changed a beer, man You get off talking down to the little man See, I'm a guitarist, so I naturally gravitate towards any guitar sounds, but I love the sweeping tremolo effect that it's got, as well as some sort of vinyl vintage plug-in effect that's been applied to it. it sounds super cool. Time you get what you deserve It's so British as well. In a pub, fruit machines, chip, grey weather. It's gonna rain! Wow, you're so fucking stupid. Been a while since my head was this polluted. Lucky I know my own I love this bridge build up as well. It almost sounds like a heartbeat, just pumping along, ready to implode or explode. We don't know. I assume the latter. Oh, you don't want to do that, mate. She sounds a little bit like Sia there in the chorus. I don't know if you get that vibe as well, but she can also belt out a tune, almost Christina Aguilera like, but she's not this one trick pony. She's got a lot of variety and different tonality to her vocals and she can MC too. It's really catchy too. And you can imagine people on dance floors just going crazy when that chorus drops in. Did you think I'd be easy? Snap me like bamboo, me into the soul of your jackboot. I think this guy's in trouble. Oh. I love her look and her image. It's so powerful and striking. She's quite small and petite, but she's got this don't fuck with me persona. Why is it when a woman is confident and powerful, they call her a witch? And that's what this whole video and song is lyrically about. Don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge me on my past. Lyrically to me, this song is about abuse, whether that be verbally or physically, and finally having that courage to take on the offender because you've become stronger. They're no longer a little girl that can be taken advantage of and humiliated. That little girl that you once knew is gone. So you wanna fight me? Are you big enough? Kick the back of my knee, are you serious? That build up heartbeat in the fridge as well, okay. I love that little stutter. I love that little stutter there as well. She's a great performer as well. Visually, visually striking. She released a video and song independently and funded it all by herself. For me, that is just truly inspiring and is a lesson for anyone out there. You can go it alone. You can truly go it alone and be successful.
great choreography as well. You don't want to do that, mate. <laughs> Excellent. That's smashing. Absolutely smashing. Belter of a tune. Specifically regarding sexism and misogyny, I find it really inspiring that more and more women are standing up and calling people out. But ultimately, at the root cause of it all, is us men, and we need to change that narrative. Hell yeah! So guys, when one of your mates says something misogynistic, call them out, shame them. That ain't right, shame on you. If you're in a boardroom or meeting room at work and some old dinosaur says something sexist or derogatory towards women, call them out. That's not right! If you're walking down the street and some builders wolf whistle a woman, then humiliate them, ask them how they'd feel if it was their daughter being catcalled. So I want more women in power. I want the demographic to change. Unless it's Liz Truss or Suella Braverman, those two can fuck right off. Fuck you! The song is extremely impressive and inspiring. We hear and read about these scenarios way too often. Once is too much. And we tend to put our hands over our ears and our eyes and pretend that it doesn't happen at the regularity that it does. Not just in Britain, but all over the world. So I respect Chinchilla for taking something that's lyrically really dark and turning it into a belter of a tune. This needs to be heard by as many people as humanly possible. You must heed my instructions! This song is not only an anthem for women, but for anyone that encounters domestic violence and abuse or any sort of confrontation around gender, race, age and sexual preference. I truly believe that music has the power to make the world better and it's songs like this and Higher End that, although they expose us to uncomfortable subject matters, it gets us thinking and by doing that, it helps unite us and inspire us. The hell you, hell you. So if you haven't already, share this song with every single person you know and lead them down the chinchilla rabbit hole or the chinchilla hole. Do chinchillas dig holes? What? You know that mate of mine I was talking about in the intro to this video? He's just bought me tickets to see Chinchilla at the Hoxton Square on June the 7th. So if you see this video and then you notice me in the crowd, pop by and say hello. Just make sure you've subscribed and you hit the like button and hit all the bells and the notification buttons and whatnot because it helps me know that what I'm doing is resonating with people. Do you know what I'm saying? So once again, thank you for watching. Make sure you put some comments down below and until next time, look after yourselves and hopefully I will see you soon. Bye for now.